Here we are outside the uh, castle in Cape Town, one of our premium tourist attractions which people are always interested in seeing the historical perspective of how Cape Town came into being, first as a uh, refreshment station for the Dutch East India Company, um, first settled in the 1600s. And this is the castle moat that I'm standing by. We are in the center of the CBD, Central Improvement District. You can see the turret over there of City Hall. And uh, this is a very busy area for commuters. The bus station is over here where the, the bus terminus across the road is the train station. But this is what greets people who come to visit our city and uh, want to look at our attractions. I can't uh, describe the smell here from the urine, the feces um, that lies here literally across this chain. It's uh, it's, it's, it is uh, nauseating, to put it mildly. The area has uh, become a homeless town of, I would say, a hundred tents or so, tops, and uh, things where people are sleeping and living here. Um, it is one large area of poverty and um, lack of dignity where people are living under our beautiful mountain and um, it's uh, become a place of squalor tremendous amount of problems here at the site the site has been um, a literal squatter camp for many many years as far as I've long as I've lived in the city they've had problems with uh, rough sleepers and homeless people sleeping along the walls of the castle in the distance there but now in the last sort of four to five years it has really become a massive problem as you can see the grass is completely eroded no longer is there grass here. Uh, the water is polluted, as you see. Um, in these tents are people still sleeping. It's early in the morning. People are all coming into work. And uh, the reason I'm highlighting this is because, I mean, the city has known about this for years and years. And now there's a tussle between the city and the Department of Public Works, which is a national department who own this specific, or administer this piece of land. Um, whereas the Public Works Department have absolutely done nothing to remedy the situation and uh, alleviate the plight of these people living here. And um, this camp has become a, an absolute den of iniquity in terms of crime, um, there's been a hell of a lot of crime emanating from this camp. We've got drugs, which are a big problem at this camp. Um, just two years ago I was here and it was probably only half the size of what it is today. But uh, many of these tents were shown to me as the, the uh, operational hubs for, for drug dealing in the area. Um, as you can see here, the people openly selling drugs uh, on the field. And this is uh, a crying shame. This is, is this the best Cape Town has got to offer? You know, tur tourists don't get to see this on the postcards or on the nice fancy brochures or adverts for South Africa and Cape Town. When our city gets tourism awards, from all around the world as being a great place to visit 
nobody bothers to dare or, or, or even dares publish this what's going on in the city center it's uh, it's unbelievable the Department of Social Development from the national government doesn't seem to care um, the provincial department well they're completely AWOL absent without leave in any of this we, no, we never ever see anybody from the provincial department or the MEC coming down to town and actually taking a look at what's going on here the city's trying its best obviously uh, under the constraints of, of not being able to apply its bylaws because they were interdicted by various NGOs um, radical left NGOs who are constantly running to court to keep people on the street rather than to have them evicted from from these areas um, and there's no dignity in living in a place like this in these conditions but yes our NGO sector sponsored mostly from abroad seem to think that this is is acceptable rather than putting people into shelters and 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 safe spaces provided for but then we have to remember that 80 percent of the people or 90 percent of those living in camps like this and across the road and see more camps further down um, do not want to go to shelters or receive any social development assistance um, and that's mainly because of the addictions to drugs the drugs sold at this place are um, cannabis which we refer to as dacha um, you can see the lighters here on the ground all evidence of the rampant drug use here um, where they cook up tick which is methamphetamine um, unga which is heroin and uh, yeah, it's, it's a real problem. Anyhow, um, I don't know how this is going to get solved, but it needs to be solved because this is seriously impacting tourism in the city. Um, tourism is down in the area. And um, yeah, what can I say? Cape Town is dying under these circumstances.